And days after a train carrying hazardous material went off the tracks in the United States' northeastern state of Ohio and burst into flames and stoked fears of a potential explosion and forced thousands of residents to evacuate. The train that derailed in East Palestine in Ohio on the 3rd of February, documents from the railway company show that it was filed with, filled with several hazardous chemical compounds, including the residue of one that is known for its link to genetic mutation. It is believed to be one of the largest environmental disasters in the country's history. Our environmental teams remain in East Palestine uh, where they're working directly uh, with the railroad and others to ensure that the site is thoroughly cleaned up uh, with no shortcuts. Uh, this morning, uh, I called Alan Shaw, CEO of Norfolk Southern. He and I have had, had contact numerous times since the crash. Uh, I discussed with him many of the concerns that we're hearing from residents, uh, residents of East Palestine. But during the accident, 38 rail cars derailed and an additional 12 cars were damaged by a fire. And according to the company, of the 20 hazardous material cars in the train, half had derailed and five of these cars were carrying vinyl chloride, a gas that is used to make plastic, which the Norfolk Southern Railway Company then released in a controlled burn on the 6th of February. There was particulate matter that was detected because of the fire and the EPA said that it did not detect chemical contaminants of concern in the hours following that. And also in a rem remedial action work plan that the Norfolk Southern Railway Company submitted to the EPA, the company has said that the train cars that derailed contained several other hazardous materials. Two cars also had benzene residue. The company has said that it has finished recovering separate phase liquids that it collected onto the nearby surface water and that air sampling still continues. So our concern in this case was what was happening with the aquatic wildlife. And what we have discovered through the testing and sampling that's been done is that very early on, um, you know, we, we have estimated based on our sampling and modeling about 3,500 dead fish across that space, across those streams, tributaries, waterways, um, 12 different species. The good news is that none of those species are threatened or endangered. As of now, no injuries to residents have been reported either from the operation to vent chemicals or the accident. Meanwhile, some residents have also returned to East Palestine after the lifting of the evacuation order as the pollution did not pose a serious threat to 5 million people who rely on the river for drinking water. Although several Ohio health and environmental officials have cautioned that residents using private wells near the derailment should only use bottled water for consumption. At this stage in the game, uh, we are recommending that uh, people in the community consider using bottled water. Um, there, uh, we are awaiting results uh, of testing of the uh, municipal water sources that are going to be fairly detailed and will allow us to have um, a very complete look at the potential compounds that could be involved and we expect that very soon. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.